as people go through the book, they're going to see I mentioned a thing called addicted to being right. Once we believe yeah. that we have an answer and mm -hmm. we want to own it and it's our ego, right. we are addicted to being right. That's level two. That's what David Data says. All arguments are saying, I'm right, and you say, and You're wrong. I'm, I'm right, and you're wrong. I'm right. right. I'm right. You say, I'm right. I'm right. That's, that's our, level that's, two. That's the basis it's of the, all. all. Many conversations lead to that. Yeah. Because once our ego gets involved, we're stuck there. Mm -hmm. and, and in companies, and as you read in families, in any time where you have a culture or community, People get triggered, and that's, by the way, another dopamine high that you get from being right. Oh, you get high, high. from being right. You get right. hugely high, oh. hugely high from this. So, um, so when I'm arguing with you, uh -huh. and all of a sudden I see I have an edge, I'm going to go. It almost takes control of my body. The need to be right. Those chemicals take over. Take and over. It, and it forces that personality to come out. Right. Because it, it, it needs it, that it, it needs addictive it. chemicals. It that does. Feeds. It does. So. And, School. Kids go to school, they get grades. They want to be right. We go to business. We get bonuses. We want to be right. The other thing, if you're wrong all the time, that also becomes a chemical that gets the body, this person gets used to as well. So, so here's what that does. Yes. This is really fascinating. When I'm wrong a lot and you're right, yeah. I get, the part of me that gets triggered is called retribution. Uh -huh. I want to get back at people that have made me feel small, uh, minimized, wrong, rejected. And so if you go into the history of a lot of people that end up in jail and kill right. others, and by right. the way, family members are more frequently killed than anybody else, right. it's because you live in a family. And this is what I'm concerned about and why I wrote the book. We live in families where parents, without realizing it, can look down at a child oh. and begin to run that child's growth around uh, proving oh. that they're wrong or that the parent is right. or telling them that they're not worth anything or whatever it is that the human beings as they're trying to nurture but don't mm. nurture know how to nurture label a child as incapable mm. of being good and smart and wonderful so and when they do that the child then will somehow build a need to have retribution get back, get back, get back. or not even at the parent at the world at the world at, at the, the world. world at the oh, world I so i watch i watch a lot of tv shows and there's so many on right now about you know ncis and at criminal minds right. and things like or that. Or bullying. Or bullying. Yeah. Yes, exactly. And so a lot of it is the need to get back at someone. I have a, uh, an executive that mm -hmm. I did a lot of work with who was a partner in a law firm, very high profile. Um, and it turns out when he was young, I didn't, I didn't like what he was doing. He was very much of a bully. And he had a partner and he, didn't, he wanted to make his partner look bad. And it was a woman. And I kept looking at that dynamic and saying, something's going on here from their mm -hmm. past. Mm -hmm. And I finally got him to open up one day, and it turned out he had a sister who was a little bit older than he. Oh. His sister was very bright and beautiful and smart oh, and yes. everything. And he was not not quite as much. He was a little uh. awkward and gawky, smart yeah. too. Yeah. But she always got the attention. Right. And he was looked down upon by his parents uh. as though she was the princess and he was not. In his life, when he got paired with this woman, she became... She became the sister, sister, and he needed to make her wrong. Make her wrong. And so yeah. I noticed how so many things he did mm. to trip her So up. how do you change somebody like that? I mean... How do you change them? Well, how would that person change? I mean, I'm I, sure he's not conscious even of what he's doing. He's not, he's not conscious. Um, a lot of times when a coach, which is I do a lot with yeah. senior executives as their coach, you build a relationship with, um, with that person mm -hmm. um, and talk about blind spots and okay. getting insights. And wow. so, anyway, I got him to a place where he started to realize what it was. But actually, the end of the story is the law firm said, we can't have two bosses. Um, who do you think should stay? And I said, she should stay. Oh. That was so he ended up being asked to leave.